Okay, so it's actually been a while since the last episode for this game. I kind of forgot what happened. I think we just finished the first case. So if you don't know what this game is about, this game takes inspirations from the likes of the Ace Attorney games. So if you like those, you probably like this. This is actually pretty good. I'll have the first two episodes in the playlist down in the description if you want to check that out. Anyways, let's continue. Air outside is indeed much better. Shizah,我们去吃唐油巴巴吧。你不是刚跟张志想拍胸脯,说要帮他找血衣吗?既然阿福兄弟愿意帮忙,寻获血衣必定指日可待。马捕头也不必安排衙役们去找了。是。我这不是想找理由出来转转吗？在衙门里干等了一上午，那罗士文还没醒，可把我闷坏了。那待会儿知县问起来，你打算怎么交差？哎，这不还有先生吗？我可没答应帮忙。唉，瞬间没有心情找
Wow, isn't this a delivery food box from Cow Snacks? Snack shop is quite famous locally. Let me see what delicious food is in the food box. Are you sure you should be touching it? Afu, do not touch other people's belongings without permission. Anyway, Lo Shi Wen won't be back. What a pity to let this go to waste. I'll take care of it instead. A basket of steamed buns. They're all mine. <laughs> he just eats it like it's nothing. Really? It's so hot in here. These buns have stayed here for six hours. But careful, they won't be spoiled. Don't worry, Shen. It's not spoiled. These steamed buns are incredibly delicious. Six hours and it's still good. Okay. What's in here? Crumpled papers are falling out. The killer attacks him with a rod, where he bound him and knocked himself unconscious. So the victim turned into the killer, and the killer turned into a victim. Chen, it appears that all the crumpled papers in this cabinet are discarded novel manuscripts. Very likely indeed. I didn't expect that Lo Shi Wen was actually writing novels. Chen, what do you think of his writing? His ideas are unique, but his writing techniques are not yet mature enough. Is writing technique important, Chen? Certainly. If one only has ideas without proper techniques, it is hard to create a good story. Clearly, Lo Shi Wei was not satisfied with his own writing either. Having crumpled them into paper balls, yet not wanting to discard them. Indeed, Lo Shi Wen's life seemed rather awkward. Hmm. It seems that someone is helping Lo Shi Wen improve his writing techniques. These few sheets of paper all have notes written in a delicate and elegant handwriting. Show. Memoirs of Sherlock Holmes. Detective Holmes. Middle shelf, particularly empty. Ceramic vessels, but they're gone. Pills in this bottle. Could it be a knockout drug? What is that? Smoking cessation pills? Does this low she wants smoke opium? Opium? Highly possible. What the hell? Uh portrait on the wall. Moriarty. Seems like he admires him quite a bit. No wonder he became a murderer. Chen, there are some indentations on this paper that look like handwriting. I see. These are the traces left by a fountain pen. Someone used a fountain pen on the table to write something. But the paper with the written words has already been taken. There's something you can do about that, right? Can you trace over the... the marks? Is there anything else I can do here? Can I leave? Wardrobe. Wardrobe is locked. Similar to the one at Lo Pei's house. Can you unlock it? Yes, do it. I would definitely hide the blessing coat in the wardrobe. Oh, we're looking for the coat? Alright, it's up to you. Okay, uh, what are we doing? Uh, we're trying to find the correct order. I see. Nice. What the hell? What? Wait, we saw her before, wasn't it? Lady in the wardrobe. Okay, okay, okay. Sir, <laughs> Yeah. Uh, 
就是，啊，又又又又有人死了，难道罗罗罗世文又？君爷，不忙下结论，先容我们调查一下尸体。What the hell, Shen? This is the girl we encountered by the creek last night. I also saw her photo in the newspaper. Oh, that's her. According to that article, her name is Liu Pi Chang, editor at the Golden Words Publishing House. She was a longtime partner of Lo Pei, and she was responsible for editing office books. How, how did Miss Liu die? We can only determine that after a thorough examination of the body. Uh. Oh, right. Liver mortis was found on the wrist of the body. Abrasions and contusions on the fingertips with minor sub 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 subcutaneous bleeding. Fingernails and surrounding skin damage, possibly from scratching or clawing. The wardrobe. Common defensive wounds in strangulation cases, suggesting victims struggled before death. <gasps> oh my God. Um. Right. Okay. So that's why the room was kept warm because of the dead body. Oh my God. Okay. Blood foam at the corner of her mouth. There's also white powder on the lips. White powder looks somewhat familiar. Shen, let me take a look. Sniff, sniff. Smell of rice. Yes, it is crumbs from a rice cake. <gasps> It's a thing he ate. Could be that this girl, like you, ate a rice cake with knockout drugs. It is possible. This is white powder, suspected rice cake. Um. Oh my God. Face. The deceased face is nosebleed, bruised, and swollen, with a bluish purple color. Strangulation. Yes. Strangulation of the neck. Deep red mark below the throat with localized discoloration and epidermal peeling. There seem to be symptoms of fractured laryngeal, lar, lar, laryngeal, laryngeal cartilage. This is a fatal injury. She was strangled to death. Strangulation marks is thick, long, no signs of finger pressure or crescent-shaped nail marks. It shows a weapon was used. The murder may have used a rod-like object to strangle the victim. Huh. Also, two vertical marks evenly distributed on the surface. Afu, this needs to be documented separately. Uh, okay. Got it. The weapon is a rod with two vertical marks. Okay. Anything else? Liver mortis present at the ankles. Stiffness present in the toe joints. Okay. Her jaw joint, neck muscles, upper limb muscles, and leg joints are all exhibiting rigor mortis. Has spread throughout the whole body. No signs of relaxation yet. Okay. Results of investigation. The girl in the wardrobe was strangled by a blood weapon. The time of her death. Her body shows total rigor mortis with no signs of relaxation. The finger and toe joints are stiff. Preliminary assessment indicates that the victim was killed approximately 14 hours ago. But the time of death can be influenced by various factors. It's because of the hot room. My judgment may even not be precise. It will be advisable to have a coroner conduct further examinations for more accurate analysis. Good that she did not die during my shift. Maybe she did, you never know. I wonder when you came on duty, was there anyone else who rotated shifts? Afternoon, not long before I came on duty, officer 
Ma assigned only me to guard. Early 2 p.m., which means that you arrived less than two hours ago. Seems that you have limited information as well. Then, what should I do next? It's a murder case. Go and report to judge right away. Shen, what should we do next? We need to reinvestigate this room from the perspective of a crime scene. Okay, the charcoal pot. It's really hot. Is there any burned paper? Why should it burn fabric? It's silk. Color and pattern looks the same type of fabric as Lopez's lost coat. Could this be the blessing coat we have been looking for? Loshi was wearing that overcoat when he disguised himself. Fabric is quite distinctive, so I don't think I could mistakenly identify it. It seems that Loshi Wen used the charcoal brazier to burn the evidence. There is a possibility of that. Okay. Although there remain only fragments, but these should be enough to report to Judge Chang. Nice. Oh, there's so much stuff. Um, who's on the floor? Face will be unpunctured. Hey, that's nothing. Oh, do you think this relates to the murder case? I cannot determine any direct connection at the moment, but... It is also possible there is an indirect connection. I'll also take a note. Good. Okay, this must be important. Look here, I found crucial evidence. Footprints? What evidence? Footprints? <laughs> they must have left by the murderer. How about you take this opportunity to review the method of footprint analysis? You mentioned a proportional relationship between height and barefoot length. Footprint size doesn't equal barefoot length. We should consider shoe type and features. By subtracting inner and outer differences and allowing for space, you can get the barefoot length. Lastly, multiply the length of the barefoot by 7. Then, you can roughly estimate the height of the murderer. You remember well. I got it! There are two murderers! What? Their souls are respectively a wave pattern and swastika pattern. Why did you stop? Huh? Oh, is it because of... Is it because of them? I carved a swastika pattern so for, for myself a few days ago. My shoe sole have a wave pattern. After all that, it turns out to be our home footprints. Finding clues is really difficult, isn't it? All contact leaves traces. This principle applies to detectives as well. When we focus on finding a murderer, we tended to ignore our presence at the scene. No, today I must regain my dignity. I'm going to investigate every footprint in the house. After searching the entire room, the only footprints I found were mine and yours. Please record this in the case file. Huh? Ah, that's important. Sometimes the absence of evidence can be just as important. Okay. Food box on a table. How did you know that the steam buns were delivered six hours ago? It's written on a note next to the box. Huh. It's approximately six hours ago. Okay. If I had known something like this would happen, I definitely wouldn't have eaten those buns. How was the taste? They were delicious, not spoiled at all. <laughs> okay. Um, top shelf. There's a box on top. Several translated versions of Sherlock Holmes. Furthermore, judging from the imprints on the partition, used to be some ceramic vessels in the middle of the bookshelf, but they are gone. Okay. 
someone's been helping him practice. Desk. The more I think, the more suspicious it is. The words on the paper must be related to the case. It would be great if we can recover the words from the paper. There's a, there must be something you can do about that. You just need to use this. Use what? Use what? I have the thing I can use it for? Charcoal? Good idea. Perhaps we can apply charcoal to the paper. Indentations can be made visible. Really? Um, uh, person hold. Oh. Oh my god. What, what does it even say? It's faster with this. Yes, yeah, faster with this. Um. Words appear. Take a look and see what it says. Uh, inadequate. Lope deceived us. Editor responsible. Final ultimatum. If not reported, extraordinary measures never tolerate. Impression of a half letter with the words Lope deceived us. But the signature. Many words did not come through clearly. It's fragmented and intermittent. Text is not complete. This should be the second half of the letter. It seems that Lo Shi Wen is accusing Lo Pei of plagiarizing his book. No, no, no. None of you truly understand. That's mine. It belongs to me. All of this is mine. I see. It's understandable why Lo Shi Wen would react that way when being accused. Lo Shi Wen also mentioned that the editor had responsibility. Is that why she was killed? Really? Is this the reason why? Y yeah. It is still difficult to make any conclusions now. What the hell? 先生,屋子已经搜索的差不多了。咱们接下来怎么办? 也就是我到罗佩家后不久跟命案有关的事白天，案件不是发生在晚上吗？这么做的理由是那盒包子告诉我的。包，包子啊！Right，包子是和出现在屋内与现场的某条线索存在明显的矛盾。嗯，is the um the time of death maybe because the buns right seven forty five this morning. Prince?难道是脚印？没错，有人将包子拿到了屋内，却没有留下任何脚印。Right，这显然是不正常。你是说有人清理了现场的脚印？可能是送包子的人，也可能在他之后还有其他人出入过。不论是谁，此人必定与
，倒是次要的啦。<笑>我想搞清楚，吕先生昨晚经历了什么。Yeah, there she is. 他为什么会哭得那么伤心？又是怎么变成了今早这样？吴大娘，这便是案发现场了。这屋里可真热呀！又是你！你们在这里干什么？当然是在调查现场了。大胆！断案缉凶是衙门的职责，沈先生管的未免太宽了。柜子中的尸体是我和阿福发现的，我自然是不会袖手旁观。想袖手旁观也不行啊！谁知道马捕头会不会又把先生当成凶手？哼！若你们真的清清白白，本部岂能冤枉你们？闲话少说，赶紧出去！本部和吴大娘要调查现场了。OK， Mr. Shen， please leave quickly. If our Sir Ma sees you, he draws swords again. I have a few questions for you, soldier. I'll leave after asking. OK， go ahead. Um， the seal on the door. Is the seal on the door passed? Paced by you. Yes, it's me. Can you remember the exact time when you put on the seals? I arrived at noon. First went to post a notice on the wall. I stayed for fifteen minutes. Then I came here to put on the seals and stand guard. He posted it around noon. Okay, so it's happened before noon. Suspected persons. Have you seen anyone suspicious? Everything is normal except, except what? Oh, Cho, he was wandering around early in the morning. Is it an old man dressed as a scholar? Yes, he is an old scholar. Let's go and ask him. Okay. Soldier, do you know anything about Lo Shi Wen? He's a lazy bone. He is ungrateful and vicious. No wonder everyone dislikes him. Ungrateful, vicious. Has Lo Pei treated Lo Xiuwen well? Lo Xiuwen doesn't work usually. Lo Pei provides him with food and clothes and a place to live in. Did Lo Pei do this because his articles were actually written by Lo Xiuwen? Lope is a great writer. He is the pride of our hero town. Even children don't bother to read what Lushi Wen writes. Okay, I think that's it. Now what? What do you have here? What is this? A for what is this? Some kind of mine palace, I think. Reappearance of rice huh? cake. Though the crumbs on her mouth suggest that she had also eaten the rice cake. In theory, that's correct. It seems the method in both cases are similar. First, incapitation, then the killing. Her hand shows clear signs of defensive wounds, indicating she struggled before death. This is different from Lopez's situation. Oh, really? Does that mean she didn't actually eat the rice cake, or the rice cake she ate didn't contain any knockout drugs, or she was strangled after regaining consciousness? Both possibilities are plausible. At least the victim was not strangled while in the state of unconsciousness. The role of the rice cake in this case needs further investigation. Despite, okay. Vertical marks looks like some sort of decorative pattern on a rod. What kind of rod would have such vertical marks? I can't think of anything right now either. During the investigation, we need to pay special attention. No murder weapon at the scene. Chen, did you notice a peculiar symbol at the signature of the letter? Yes, I noticed it too. For now, we are still not sure what it represents. We need to find more clues. Strange symbol. Then, how should we locate the person who cleaned up the scene? Visit the town and inquire. There might be valuable information. 
The delivery guy, right? Yeah, the buns were delivered to Loshi when I said 45. Soldier arrived to guard the door two hours before, which is at noon. The suspect must have entered and left the house during this time period. During the daytime, there is also a high probability of witnesses. 7 to 1. Okay. During our inquiries in the town, is it necessary for us to focus on understanding Miss New's interpersonal relationships as well? You're right. That is a good starting point. She was killed. Bonin Words Publishing House is in Yangchow, and Miss Liu's doesn't seem to be a local person either. Why was she crying so sore for you last night, and why was she killed? Her interpersonal relationships here should be relatively simple. There is a chance to find someone with a motive for murder. Huh. Okay, I think that's it for now. Alright, you know what? I'm gonna end this one here for today. Okay, we got another case on our hands. Lady in a wardrobe. What happened? So she was killed in the morning. Locked in the wardrobe. It was locked too. And then there was no footprints. The room was kept warm because of circumstances. I don't know. I think we're still missing a lot of pieces to figure out what's going on. Anyways, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. I'll see you in the next one. Matane.